Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. So the energy coming into the reading, Taurus, is here you are, King of Pentacles energy, master of all you survey, somebody who's very grounded, very down to earth, feeling quite secure in your ability to do what's necessary and keep your balance, maintain control. You're willing to work really hard at love. You love stability. You may be involved with a Taurus or a Virgo, but it's beautiful earthly energy that is what makes love possible in the mundane, everyday life. Look at this beautiful energy, fire. Queen of Wands energy. You feel very fired up about something or someone. I'm getting that there has been some sort of breakup, a loss, a transformation. We see the butterfly here, but something has ended, and so something new will begin. You look optimistic, though, with that Eight of Coins. You're working on yourself. The Queen of Wands says you have a lot of fire in your belly. In love, you feel totally confused. The Moon card is Pisces energy. Somebody or some situation has, you, has left basically has ended and you do not understand what is going on in the energy of your love life right now. The King of Swords energy tells me that you are dealing with someone who is very strategic. When we look at this card, we see that the that this person views things from a higher perspective in a very aloof, strategic manner. This is a samurai warrior. And we see that the bird's eye and the samurai's eye is the same. So what it says is that your person that you're dealing with or we're dealing with is someone who views things quite differently and always with an eye to winning an objective. Very strategic. The Sun card does say that, you know, you have a lot of love and a lot of affinity, a lot of happiness in this connection. The Three of Cups says that, you know, you may be friends. Um, it may be someone that, you know, you've been friends with for a long time. But the Three of Cups is beautiful energy. It is love energy. So we have Aquarius, excuse me, yes, Aquarius energy with the King of Swords. The Sun card is Leo energy, Scorpio energy, and the Three of Cups is Cancerian energy. Six of Cups says that, uh, Taurus, that you are holding someone in your heart from the past, that there's someone that you would really like to see, that you'd like to talk to, um, and you don't know how they feel about you. The King of Wands, Leo energy. There we go. So you are going to strike out. You are going to make contact with a lover from the past, maybe somebody who's been gone for quite some time. And um, you have a mission. You're on a mission to be successful in love. You want to know what happened. You want answers. I don't think you want closure. It looks like you're really strategically trying to find out what's going on with your person. It looks as though they could have gone silent on you. So let's go ahead and clarify with the Light Seer's Tarot. All right, so the Two of Coins, so Taurus. Were you juggling two people? Because it looks like you may have been. So let's see what we have here. Two of Coins, two choices, two options. So very interesting energy here. Again, Capricorn energy. So you may be involved with somebody at work. What do we see here for the, the Eight of Pentacles? Here we go, strategic energy. The same card, the King of Swords and the King of Swords. So you may be dealing with somebody at work. You may be trying to strategize how to have a romantic relationship with them. It does look like there's probably some sort of rule or... Um, a rule against dating somebody at work. It just looks like with all this strategy at work, there is this beautiful person here that you would like to make an offer to, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. So whatever role you're playing, you have your heart set on making your match a reality. You are very fired up about this, Taurus. 
Look at this. Five of coins. Somebody left you in the cold in the past. Somebody, again, I feel this is very much like a ghosting situation. So leave it in the comments. Tell me what's going on here. Tell us more about this death card and five of coins. Somebody held back. Why is the Pisces moon card here? That's Capricorn energy. A lot of work, Virgo Capricorn energy. The full card reversed is also clarifying this moon card, which means that this person does not appear to be willing to start new, and it does look like they walked away into um, a future that without you. So here you are. You're left to try to figure this out, Taurus. It's not comfortable either because... Aquarius energy doesn't come naturally to you. There you are in the reading again. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You are determined to find out the truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So let's see here what we have for the energy of the Sun card is the Nine of Cups reversed. So that could be overdoing it, drinking too much, partying too hard. You know, it means that you might be trying to kill off the pain that you felt. This is a very painful ending. Look at this. She has a bare chest. She's revealed everything. She put her heart on her sleeve. She showed great love. You know, she was trying to grow a relationship, and that represents what's happened to you. That represents you in your, you know, your quest to have a relationship that did not manifest. So let's see what the Three of Cups is here. Yep, here we have it. We have, look at this, Six of Cups twice now. That's the same card, different decks. Three of Coins. So I get a lot of threes here. So I need to see the Two of Coins with the Three of Swords for me to say that this is a third-party situation. So I don't necessarily think that this was a relationship with a lot of commitment, but I do believe you were dating somebody who left you for someone else. So it looks as though with the Eight of Cups, this person, you might have just been friends with a romantic interest in one another, and this person looks as though they did a disappearing act on you. And it looks like they walked away, and you were totally, you were stunned. I don't think you saw that coming at all. And it felt very painful to you. It looks as though they ghosted you or blocked you. You know, the door here is a blockage. Um, let's see. When we get the Three of Pentacles, it does, again, there's a really strong work vibe here, Taurus. It says that you were very interested in somebody that you worked with or a good friend. There was um, a very strong feeling here for you towards this person. Six of Cups, you saw them as your happily ever after. You saw this person as someone that you wanted to have a future with. And we have the Eight of Swords is clarifying the King of Wands along with the Nine of Pentacles. A Virgo energy and Gemini energy. Again, this person is not talking to you. And I feel it's really painful because it looks as though you see this person at work. For some of you, that's going to be the case. And it's very awkward. Very, very awkward. So let's go ahead and see what the energy is here for the seven energy oracle deck to see if we can get some more information about what's going on with your person, Taurus. Let's see. It doesn't look like a fully manifested romantic relationship, but it does look like for many of you this was a the beginnings that just didn't take off and get off the ground. Endless possibilities. See, you didn't you didn't know this wasn't fully manifested and this person looks as though they just shut it down, didn't bother to tell you, didn't really uh, feel as though you needed to know any answers feeling the world you know closing out the cycle so you do feel it as though this is over and yet your desire for this person maintains itself 
the power of purpose. So it does look like your person had some particular reason, something that they wanted to do, something that they felt compelled to do in terms of their own lives. I don't, I'm not getting a very interactive reading here. I'm getting a lot of like doors shut. There's a really strong energy here that this person really never opened up to you, Taurus that they were, you know, marching to the beat of their own drummer, you know, very much. Uh, didn't want, again, lots of cards of blocked energy. All right, the Aries reading had some of this energy in it too. So let's see what we have. The joy of the future. So you are looking into the future. You feel as though that's the place you need to focus. The juggler, okay. You were being juggled and then you were left for someone else because the two of coins is juggling two people. The juggler is the juggler. So this person didn't bother to tell you though. The queen of passage, the lady of the forest, they just didn't bother to tell you. So I feel right now you're still in this feeling of mystery. You just really don't have any answers here. So this looks like a relationship that just failed to launch or failed to get any uh, any traction. But it looks like it was very significant, a lot of soulmate energy. And this person turned their back on the friendship, on the love. There's a tremendous amount of love here. So this moon card says, is it, you know, it's a mystery for you. So I am going to take this to the extended reading. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and see what the bridging energy is to the extended. Let's see what the energy is going into the extended reading. So we will do the reverse. We will look at only your person and their, their actions, what they were doing, what took them out of the equation for you. Why did this person leave Taurus? Let's see. Give us the extended reading link, please, Spirit. Knight of Cups, okay. So that's going to be our bridging energy. And that Knight of Cups energy is clarified by the Six of Wands. This person wanted a victory. Ten of Pentacles, they were pursuing their career. And the Six of Swords, they had gone through some sort of situation that you probably never knew about. Their own sense of loss. In fact, the Death card could indicate that they... They lost someone close to them. So there's a lot of ways that this could play out. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go to the extended and see if we can find more out about this person, what's happened, and what the likelihood is that, you know, that they may drop the other coin and come back into the equation with you. All right. Take care, Taurus. Thank you.